So if you've recently been looking at YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and TikTok, then you've probably come across the craze of hydrogen-infused drinking water. Some of the most world-renowned biohackers claim that it's the only water they'll drink. It has this huge array of beneficial effects. I can't, I can't even name all the beneficial effects they claim it has. They make it seem like this stuff is the holy grail of health. So for the past year, I've been drinking over five of these a day on and off. So I could see if there was any difference from when I was drinking them versus when I wasn't. Did I experience any of these profound benefits? Not only that, but I've done some things with hydrogen you wouldn't believe. This is the ultimate hydrogen video, but you can focus. First, I wanna address a little concern. If you haven't seen the last video, a question a lot of people have, and rightfully so, is the mechanism at which these things produce hydrogen, well, does it release anything harmful into the water? And does the hydrogen actually stay in the water? Is this actually hydrogen? Well, in the last video, I tested multiple brands of these products for hydrogen using a hydrogen detector, and then I also tested them for heavy metals, chlorine, and other contaminants using these contaminant detector test strips, and I used a couple different brands of those. And well, good news, it looks like the $250 plus dollars spent on this little research project yielded some positive results. None of any of the water produced by any of the water bottles showed any concerning signs of heavy metal contamination, chlorine, or any other contaminants on the test strips according to the test strips and then obviously most importantly all of the water produced showed positive oh, you little bugger you <laughs> showed positive signs of hydrogen more so than regular water according to my hydrogen tester whoa 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 tested for hydrogen you pull with my chains bub water already contains hydrogen it's too old yeah you're right so if you don't understand the whole concept behind this and you're about to leave a water already contains hydrogen H2O joke, notice the bubbles. It's not the hydrogen that's already in the molecular structure of the water. It's the hydrogen gas that is being released from the water and then infused into the water as hydrogen gas. The idea behind this is in its gas form, it can be immediately available for your body to absorb efficiently. And that leads me full circle to this entire thing. Is it all? You are such a little. Does that even matter? Does this even work? Is it just a scam? Well, to understand this, I think we need to ask one of those super intelligent, world-renowned biohackers who just know way more than we do. Now, very important is when the desonitized H2 gas, like what is found in our water bottles, is introduced to the biotopical membrane, well, a synergistic reaction sort of occurs in the oculus of the mitochondria. This, in fact, induces a reaction that decalcifies biofilm on the nucleus. Therefore, unlike regular water, our hydrogen-rich water can maintain a symbiotic state of homeostatic hematosis, leading to a vigorous plethora of unconsequential metamorphosis. Okay. Sorry for all the funny business, but the point I'm trying to get across is there's so many charlatans out there just putting together a bunch of mumble jumble and it sounds all pretty and I swear, I swear, people with an IQ between like 90 and like 110 literally believe anything from these charlatans. I'm sorry, that whole IQ thing is just speculation, okay? It's just how I feel. In all real, what I'm actually seeing is that so many people fall for these charlatans, people who put together words that basically mean nothing. I said a bunch of nothing. I made up words. I made up words. Now, how this relates to hydrogen water is I've seen so many short clips of this type of example where words are basically being made up. Things are being said in a way where it just sounds so miraculous. But is it actually miraculous? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry I'm making you wait so long. How did you roam? I need a loan. Mom on the phone, I'm on my own. Where do I go? I'm leaving home. Paul Jerome, never return. Hydrogen all up in that bubble bubble. Credit card, debit card, now I'm in double trouble. Mama, mommy, I need a loan so I can get me some hydrogen roam. Sorry. Okay, so because my IQ is 95 and I'm apparently very gullible, actually I don't know what my IQ is, but it's not probably not that good. It doesn't matter, it's all just a joke, but what I'm saying is my experience, basically when I was doing this on for a couple of weeks at a time, I would start my day with hydrogen water and I'd drink it along doing my work. And then I would have one pre-workout and I'd have one post-workout and then maybe one later in the afternoon and then the rest of the day, I would just kind of leave it be. And I'd have like five, six, seven, eight of these at least sometimes. But here's the deal, did, I, did it knock my socks off? Did I experience anything like, 
holy moly, I'm like hydrogenized. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't notice anything. What? You suck! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did, what did I do? You wasted my time! What was I supposed to do? I was just telling you how I felt. You wasted my time! Wait, 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 please. Listen, just listen. Just like you're about to give up on me, I was about to give up on hydrogen. No. But I ask you for just one more chance. Like the one more chance I gave hydrogen. You don't get to say this to me! When I came across this new technique, This is the hydrogen bath. What? Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm gonna put you, so this thing will pull the water out of your tub, add hydrogen gas to it, and put the hydrogen back into your tub. You will feel so <laughs> good. I need one. What? I need one. Like an oxygen tub will run you like a hundred grand. This machine will cost you about seven grand. What? But it actually- it's it's Seven grand? I can't afford this seven grand hydrogen bathtub maker. How am I gonna survive as a biohacker? Wait a minute, there actually might be a way I can infuse my bathtub with hydrogen for relatively cheap right now. With the tablets. For the back. All right, we'll do like five or, five or so. So yeah, I ended up using the H2 tabs in the tub to hopefully infuse the water with hydrogen gas. I started with just like five tabs, but then I thought maybe that wasn't enough, so I bumped it up to like 10 tabs, and then I literally just used the whole bottle the next time. So I did this immediately after some workouts to see if there was any blunt and soreness or any recovery benefit, and after taking these hydrogen bubble baths, I didn't notice any difference. What is this more of my So I would actually like to apologize if you feel I've wasted your time. However, I'm hoping that if you can read between the lines and some of the things in this video, that maybe there is some other lessons to be learned about this whole biohacking space. With that being said though, back to the hydrogen water and what I'm gonna continue going forward from here, it, it might just blow your mind because even though I just spent an entire year drinking these bottles five plus a day on and off and not noticing any difference from when I was drinking them versus when I wasn't drinking them, I actually still am planning to continue to drink this going forward. And if I do get the chance someday, I, I want to explore that hydrogen bath concept. As ridiculous as that might sound to some of you guys out there, Oh man, I'm such a sucker. What does that make my IQ, like negative 90? So the reasoning behind my justification for doing this going forward is kind of a pie. One big piece of that pie is, as I continue to drink this and think positively about it, maybe there will be some kind of placebo effect that will actually cause me some kind of positive difference, seriously. But another big piece of that pie that just continues to draw my curiosity is all of the research that has been done on this concept. And the more I look into these articles and the research, and I, I saw this one review that kind of like summarized a lot of the different points, well, it was very promising. So I came to the conclusion, I already have these, I tested them, I didn't find anything sinister going on in them based on my tests. I'm hoping at the least, maybe, just maybe, there might be something slightly beneficial going on that's just gonna slowly build up over time. Hopefully beneficial, not something Terrible, slowly building up over time, oh my gosh. And that is hydrogen water, all right. Hello and welcome. My name is Barry Gecko, world-renowned biohacker, author, and human biologist. If you're watching this video, that means you've purchased our premium subscription, where we are going to be giving only premium content. In this video, we are going to cover our desonetized H2 water bottle with a high. How and why it is better than other H2 producing water bottles and how you can use it to better enhance your life in every aspect. But first we have a special message from our sponsors, Zope. 
It's not just soap, it's zo. Made with premium South African zebra extract for enhanced absorption, tonality, and indicatus hormonal response. You can now get multi-flavored soap in a pack of three for only one ninety nine. Is this your car? Uh, yeah. Your mirror. It won't come off. <laughs> oh. Can I come in? I'm thirsty. What? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Man! Whew. Ooh, it's Kevin, right? Yeah, 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 Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, no, 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 I knew that, yeah. It's been so long since we uh, hung out last. What's it been, like, like a year? Like a year, about a year, yeah. Yeah. I wonder why, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I've been busy, okay? So you don't need to worry. Yeah. Oh, okay, where are they? Where are who? Come on, Kevin, I'm gonna be drinking water. I need a cup. Oh, yeah, no, uh, the, the cups, of course, they're, uh, they're in the cabinet. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Uh, Kevin? Yeah? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. We've got a bit of an issue here. Uh, 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 what problem? Yoo-hoo. What's this? Uh, it's, it's a, it's a fork? It, it's a fork. Okay, don't get sassy with me, Kevin. I'm just asking you a question. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I was- Yeah? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah? Good, all right. So think for me this. How am I supposed to drink out of a fork? Uh, Listen, Kevin, if I need to be fed, I feed. The, the cups are, the cups are in the upper cupboards. You got, you got a lot to learn, <laughs> right? This is a cabinet. That was a drawer. You tell me the cup's in the drawer, well, I go looking below. Now oh, that's nice. Now I'll take two. One for me, one for you. Let's drink. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, so, uh, what you been up to? What have I been up to? Uh, yeah, I know lingo. What you been up to? I've, I've been finishing up my last semester, and um, I'm thinking about applying to grad school. Yeah? And in the meantime, I've just been, like, going to the gym. And... <laughs> Are you trying to get me to go? Are you, you gonna ask me what I've been up to? Huh? Are you even concerned? At all? Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? What, what have you, what have you been, been up to? Well, thanks for asking. <laughs> what I've been up to is, uh, well, I'm actually moving. Yeah, I'm moving. It's my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Out of all people, my girlfriend. She, uh, she thinks we should be, uh, living in, uh, separate places. You know, she wants to live at my house, or her house now, and, uh, well, wants me to get another place. You see, the only problem is, I gotta move. And she wants me to move 
in an apartment. All the way in Tennessee. Wow, wow. Um, anywho, I actually come over here to ask you a question. You see, Kevin, I was wondering if you had a fish tank that I could borrow. A, a fish tank? Yeah, a fish tank. A blub blub fish tank, Kevin. Y you know, no, no, <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, let's all repeat myself. I, I actually don't have a, I don't have a fish tank, no. It's okay. It's okay. Not a big deal. All right. Anyways, how to get? We'll set them there. Oh, uh, that's. This could do. This could do. Uh, well, you who, Kevin? Why didn't you say anything about this? <laughs> this could help me out. I'm gonna borrow this. Um. Uh. Oh, by the way, Kevin. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be moving pretty soon, so I could use your help. You know, picking up some boxes and whatnot. All right. All right. All right. Don't forget to lock your door. Oh. <sighs>